as it turns out, the rules for improvisation are, are essentially the rules for life. You learn a whole way of looking at things that forever marks you. When Mario Savio started talking on the steps of Berkeley, we were there to record it on stage. At the time, 622 Broadway was an Italian club called the Bocce Ball. We had assumed this was going to be a summer gig. You know, we opened in April. We figured if we could get through Labor Day, it was a long job. One evening, Saturday night, Hamilton came running in. And he goes, come outside, come outside, Hank, and come outside. And so we ran outside, and there's a friggin' line around the block. And every Saturday night from then on in, that was it, man. Oh, it was so cool. It was a really amazing collection of really smart people at a time in history where things were really changing fast. And the committee was a voice in a very intelligent, very funny, very sharp voice of that change. The committee didn't dabble in politics. It had a political base from the first day it opened. I came out to the committee and an entirely new sensibility. It was political theater. It was guerrilla theater. It was on the street theater. It was, it was fucking A dangerous. That was the high point of my life, that it was heaven, it was heaven doing that work, because the second I ever saw that work, I went, that's me, that's what I want to do, that's, that's a thing, I can do that. So it was all about uh, making sure our lives came out on stage. You know, Dell would happily say that he loved San Francisco because there were truly certifiable crazy people as functioning members of that community. There was a bohemian life in the city that predated us, the beatniks and the poets, uh, and we could only contribute to it and, and be nourished by it, and as it turned out, gave back. <laughs>